All right, now welcome back to Cheapskate Garage. Uh, and yeah, don't be afraid to like, subscribe, comment down below. Yeah, any feedback's appreciated. So today I was working in the garage, something's pretty rare these days. And I found the need for a valve spring compressor tool for LS, LS style engine. Um, so I could have ordered one online, but uh, that takes too long. And plus, uh, like I said, I'm a cheapskate. So I decided to build one. So what I did was I took some quarter inch bar stock, some flat plate bar stock, which I happen to have when I was uh, doing some, some garage door beefing up. Um, so anyways, I took some of this and there's a couple of key measurements. Um, basically chop this off. Uh, you're going to want to drill it about, you know, two and a quarter inches wide at least uh, to cover the distance from, from one, one end to the other. Uh, a couple key measurements. This is about one and 15 six inch between the center point here and the center point here. So one and 15 sixteenths is about 49, 49 millimeters. Uh, so you're gonna wanna drill it uh, with a nine sixteenths inch drill bit, your flat bar stock. Now mine looks a little goofy because you know, the first time doing this on this engine, if I had a video to watch, it'd be a lot prettier. Um, so basically, get your flat bar stock, cut it, and then you're gonna weld, wanna weld on another piece which comes up this way. And the other key measurement here is, it's approximately 14 degrees difference from here to here. 14 degrees, 13 and a half, 14 degrees, around there. Uh, so I cheated on this one. You can tell by looking at it, it's a nut that I welded onto the top instead of tapping it because uh, welding in that was faster and it just it's pretty beefy it's really really stout it's uh it's not going to flex at all um so on ls lq style heads this is in line if you're working with ls uh, ls3 l92 style heads there's an offset rocker so that's why my little tool here has this notch taken out I did it on the other side here by accident, but um, you know, I'm, I'm here to help you out. You don't need to notch, notch this all the way out. You could just drill the hole like I initially did. Uh, and then the other reason why this looks so goofy, this big cutout here is uh, not for the cathedral style head, but I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, this, the cathedral is very tall, tall and skinny. So on the casting here, um, you know, you don't really got to clear much. It's all flat. The pedestals sit above the head. So there's, uh, it's pretty, pretty, uh, you know, tons of room. It doesn't have to look this goofy. It doesn't have to be an inch and a half wide like it is. So let's wander on over to another head here. Yeah, and I guess I won't bother explaining how to use this. It's pretty self-explanatory. So this is a, this is a LS3 style head or, uh, in, you know, 6.2 head with the bigger intake port. And because it has a bigger intake port, the casting is different. These two pedestals are below the big fat casting of the intake port. So that's why I had to, uh, had to V that out so, so, so large. Um, and then the other half of this, this tool is the part that sits on top of, on top of the valves to push it down so you get your keepers out and uh, the only real trick that with this uh, would be to see how it doesn't move here see what I did this does move I kind of shaved I tapered that whatever you want to call it chamfered tapered it out a bit and it doesn't move it doesn't move at all but uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty quick building this tool. If I had a video to watch, it would have been even even quicker. But uh, yeah, so there's basically the whole tool, works on both style heads, super beefy. And uh, yeah, you can save yourself some money as well. Uh, so if you get building one right now, you'll probably be finished before dinner. All right, so like, subscribe as, as always. Uh, keep watching. I built uh, I built some other LS tools, a crank pulley uh, remover. I built a flex plate holder. 
um, yeah, all kinds of easy stuff you can do that costs you no money if you have the tools and you have some some materials kicking around the old shop here but yeah stay tuned uh, for more updates like this um, I should be getting getting the cars running um, I gotta put the pack springs in the 6.0 and uh, should be bolting up to the C10 I'm gonna be turbo on that and uh, I'm looking for well I'm looking for another G body I don't want to bastardize I don't want to bastardize my GN here um, so hopefully I can get just a regular one to run an LS and a turbo in and uh, this one here I'm thinking I'm thinking ideally I just ditch it because uh, if a car looks this extreme it's got to be single digits it has gone single digits on uh, a nitro small block um, but I, I had a 582 Shafroff destined for it but um, you know, I got rid of that and then I got all these LS engines here. So everything's getting the LS, everything's getting the turbo. Um, yeah, this is troublemaker pack springs. That's why I needed to do that tool today. And this is basically like everybody says, don't take it apart too much, just put it together. But um, I gotta do a, gonna do a LS2 chain on this. There's a lot of slack in here and you can, I can actually move this chain uh, so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna order up a chain and sprocket set I think I got a new oil pump here kicking around somewhere and then uh, just get this all buttoned up uh, I gotta mod the pan I think I gotta shorten the pan for my truck and then we'll be in in business but uh, yeah I really like to be getting some more progress done hopefully hopefully very very soon so yeah stay tuned for more updates um, hope that tool dimensions info helped some people out here because uh, it would have helped me for sure all right thanks for watching